Now full of these wild flowers, this used to be a field for horses and full of rubble. This is something that we want to actively encourage to one, encourage pollinating um, species, so your bees and your bugs, but also to increase wild animals and birds into the area as well. Careful management by local councils means this site in Abbots Langley is now a haven for pollinating insects. It was very much kind of a monoculture, and so what we wanted to create is that diversity that the bees and bugs love. And so by planting specialist sort of, uh, seeds, we, we can encourage that variety of habitats that these species really enjoy. The county council is a large landowner. It owns 4% of land in Hertfordshire, 11,000 acres, including this graveyard where volunteers are trying to spread wild flowers. Just long grass is not what people want to see. You know, they'd like to see a bit of colour, they want to see something a bit different. We started once a month, then we realised it wasn't enough, so we now come once a week. The new official policy is now to encourage biodiversity and pollinating insects on vacant land. If we don't encourage those insects to, re to, uh, to come back and to increase in number, we're going to find it difficult to get all our crops pollinated and ensure that um, we can keep our agriculture thriving for the future. Insect numbers are in decline, but it's hoped this could be a small step in helping them come back. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.